Hey, what's going on guys? It's Sean Lang and this is another Info and Tips video. Today we're going to be covering quirks, so let's go dive in here. So first, what is a quirk? The term quirk in MWO refers to adjustments to weapons, structure, armor, and movement attributes from their base value, uh, but they only affect that particular battle mech. Where do you find quirk information? In the mech lab. The first thing you need to do is mouse over a particular battle mech and a information window will pop up. In this window, you'll notice a, a section called Quirk Summary. If the battle mech has any quirks at all, it will be listed below that in positive and negative values. Positive will always be green, while negative will always be red. And this is if you see cooldown plus 10%, that's actually a good thing and not a bad thing. Let's go ahead and use the Hunchback 4G as our example to explain the differences between some of the quirks. First, we have weapon specific. As you can see, the Hunchback 4G has three weapon specific quirks applied to the Autocannon 20. It gets cooldown, velocity, and range. Now, for any weapon specific quirk an IS Battle Mech gets, it also gets a generic version. In this case, the Hunchback 4G gets a ballistic cooldown, velocity, and range. This allows someone to take a different ballistic weapon and receive a slight benefit while also still promoting the use of the Autocannon 20 because everything stacks. So in this case of the Hunchback 4G, if an Autocannon 20 is equipped, it gets a total of 25% cooldown, 25% velocity, and 25% range. If you equip a ballistic other than the autocannon 20, those values drop down to 12 and a half each. A quick mention here, these values do stack with any modules that you may have applied to the mech. So just keep that in mind. Moving on, you'll notice the Hunchback 4G also has generic energy quirks. These values apply to any energy weapon that uses said attributes, energy range plus 15% and energy heat gen a negative 15%. The reason I bring up the whole if it applies to the attributes is laser duration does not affect PPCs, it only affects lasers, so that's what I'm talking about. At the top of the summary, you'll notice an additional structure right torso plus 12 and additional armor right torso plus 18. These are increasing the survivability of that particular location to offset the negative design and gameplay implications having a giant right torso gives, while the weapon quirks give it an increased weapon functionality. All that is remaining is the torso turn rate pitch and yaw, which increases the torso twisting speed left and right and up and down. One thing to note about all of this is every value stacks upon the base value. Some of the movement attributes will feel different depending on the engine size used in any particular battle mech, but regardless, it will have the same value percentage that is being applied. You may also see specialized quirks on individual chassis that help give particular battle mechs an edge, such as an Ultra Auto Cannon Jam Chance or an LBX Spread, Missile Spread, and Missile Velocity. If you're jumping into a new battle mech or possibly looking at purchasing one, make sure to know the quirks ahead of time. Please keep in mind also that quirks have been changing and so keep up to date with the patch notes. I also use a very cool tool called MWO-Quirks by Snafitz. This is a website that shows every single Inner Sphere battle mech and its quirks applied, and it actually does it in a way that's quite nice. Uh, for example, the Cicada 2A, all you have to do is left click, and it shows you here that additional structure, right and left leg, plus 10. Now, what it does is it auto automatically combines the weapon specific and the generalized, which the game does anyways. So for instance, medium laser cooldown is at 15%. Now in reality, medium laser is at seven and a half and that uh, generalized is seven and a half and it combines. But the cool thing is it basically showcases this all in one so you don't have to do the math. And you can also see this is the case for the medium laser duration. It also shows any type of missing miscellaneous movement or structure buffs as well. And all you have to do is left click and it minimizes. You can also hit hide and show for all of the uh, weight classes. I'll include all this information in the video description below. This concludes the Info and Tips Quirk video. Now go forth out there in the inner sphere with more information. Until next time, mech warriors.